please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or med scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 physics questionnaire for the undergraduate scholarships. The answer key and original questions are linked in the description. The third problem for part one of the physics exam reads, a parallel plate capacitor has plates of area S in separation D and is charged to our potential difference V. The charging battery is then disconnected and the plates are pulled apart until their distance becomes D plus delta D. The vacuum permittivity is denoted as epsilon sub zero or epsilon naught. Find the work required to separate these plates. Let's now review some ideas that will be helpful in solving this problem. First is the idea of work. We recall that work is the change in energy, in potential energy in this case, from one state to the other. So here we have the final state when the capacitor plates have been pulled apart. And here is the initial state before the, the plates were pulled apart. And then we also need to remember the energy stored in a capacitor, in the parallel plate capacitor. And in this case, the energy, the potential energy stored in that, in that capacitor is one half CV squared. C is the capacitance, V is the voltage across the capacitor plates. And we note that C is dependent, the capacitance is dependent on the separation of the plates. We call that separation D. And the voltage is also dependent on that separation. And so we just write it there to remind ourselves. And you might also recall that this can be stated in a different way. So C times V is just the charge stored in the capacitor. And in fact, that's how we define the capacitance. It's the constant that is that when multiplied by the voltage, we can get the amount of charge in the capacitor. So CV can be condensed into one variable Q, which is the charge stored in the capacitor. And now in this case, Q is not dependent on the separation anymore because that's just the charges in the plates. And that's why we remove the D dependence there. And we are left with just a single dependence in V. And V remains dependent on the distance of separation D. Then we also recall the capacitance as a function of the geometry. In this case, the parallel plate capacitor. The capacitance is equal to the to, to this expression here. Here we have the coefficient of proportionality, which is the permittivity of free space in this case. And the capacitance is proportional to the area of the plates and inversely proportional to the distance that is separating the plates. Now we start working on the energy terms here so we can find the work. Let's start with the with the initial state. Here we have a separation D and then an area S, permittivity E naught or epsilon naught, and the total charge Q. And the the energy stored in the capacitor, in this capacitor, would be the following. So that would be one half Q which is the charge, which we know from here. And now we express this voltage as the product of the electric field across the capacitor times the separation. So we'll have to remember that the voltage is just the electric field times the separation there. Or in other words, the electric field is the ratio of the voltage to the separation that capacitor. And this is neat because the electric field is not dependent on the distance here. 
and so this is a very good form q is not dependent on the distance d uh, e is not dependent on the distance only d here is well the distance and so it, we can also find the the energy in the final state very easily using this and in fact we just replace the d with d plus delta d so we obtain the following expression and now we just have to subtract the final energy which is this case this is the, the final potential energy and and subtract from it the initial potential energy which is this so you, you see that the subtraction will be rather simple now we carry out the subtraction so again the subtraction would be like this and clearly the d here and the d here would cancel each other and we're left with this now this is a correct answer however these variables are not in the choices so we need to express q in terms of these variables and e or electric field in terms of these variables so q is simple because we recall the definition of capacitance is that it is the constant that when multiplied by the voltage results in the charge the amount of charge and q is the amount of charge so we can replace this with the product cv and then the electric field we recall the relationship between the electric field and the voltage we note that the electric field is the ratio of the voltage to the distance separating the plates so we can replace e with the following voltage over d and charge the charge q can be replaced with the capacitance times the voltage and then we're getting closer to the variables here except that c here does not appear in any of the choices so we need to express it to to in terms of the other variables in here and and this time we use this third idea here c is known to be in a parallel plate capacitor we know that the capacitance is proportional to the area of the plates that's s and inversely proportional to the distance separating the plates again that's d and the, the constant of proportionality is epsilon naught so we replace the c here with this bit here and this is what we get one half epsilon naught and then the s over d that is from this first bit of the equation and then the v and the v here combines to v squared and delta d and we have another d here and just simplifying this we obtain the answer and that answer is this which is letter f in the choices if you learned something new today please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications see ya